the continuous assessment of healthcare facilities, staff performance, and customer satisfaction are of equal importance to health services delivery and access to care at all levels. A few weeks ago, Health Minister Senator the Honorable Jonathan Lacret, supported by a delegation of senior managers, undertook a three-day tour of all primary care facilities which started at the St. George's Health District, moving across the island from facility to facility, parish by parish. The overall aim of the exercise was to hear from the staff, assess situations, and put measures in place to address priority issues for services delivery improvements. It's a policy directive that I issued a few weeks ago that the top management of the sector, that we ensure that we schedule some planned visits to all of the medical stations across the entire state of Grenada, Karakou and Piti Matnik. Of course, the team was up in Karakou about two or three weeks ago, so we will not be um, revisiting Karakou at this time because they did flag a number of the infrastructural, material, resource, as well as clinical issues that we have on, Kar on the island of Karakou and Piti Matnik. But as it relates to mainland, um, we wanted to ensure that we touch base with all of the clinicians because sometimes, Kevin, um, when you get to the management level, you tend to get a bit comfortable. And um, I didn't want the management to get comfortable. I wanted to ensure that even the medical director, director of hospital services, etc., um, the CMO is usually out in the community as well as the senior medical officer for primary health care and chronic disease, etc. But when you bring the entire management out, I believe that everybody receives a greater appreciation for what the nurses face and what they go through on a daily basis. And also the patients, when they come to the clinics, what are some of the challenges that they have so that we can see how we can remedy these challenges for 2024 one by one. There are some general things that we can certainly get done but I believe that the assessment and analysis that we are conducting right now is extremely important as we come to the final stages of our budget consultation as well so that we know how we're budgeting, why we're budgeting, um, especially for the retrofitting and reconstruction of some of the medical stations and the smarting of those medical stations as well so that you can make life comfortable for the clinicians as well as, as well as the patients. One of the persons on tour was Mrs. Naomi Jeremiah, Permanent Secretary with responsibilities for the management of hospitals and community health services. We are really concerned with the working environment to give them the support to do an analysis of the infrastructural needs at the various health facilities. We also are looking at how we can make the all the health facilities, smart facilities. Um, this is needed in the event that we have a disaster. Jeremiah said the staff are given an opportunity to share their concerns with the team as they visit the various stations. So we are reviewing, we are having one-on-one -on -one with our staff at the various facilities, look at some of the challenges that they have, have been experiencing and how we can address them you know, to, to bring some resolution to whatever challenges they have. So it's, we know that some of the projects are being budgeted for under the CDB project. Then we have some of the facilities are also budgeted for under the OECS Regional Health Project. And then some of the projects or other health facilities will be funded from the Government of Grenada CRF account. So we have a one-on-one -on -one with them. We look at the urgent things that we need to look at. We notice that there are a lot of mole issues in some of the um, facilities and other issues that we have to address. So it's basically to touch base with them, make them know that we are there to support them and that they have a listening ear. Well, most of them have um, infrastructural issues. Uh, we have addressed some of the issues from last year into this year. Since the government came into office, we had addressed some of them. We also noted that moles seems to be an issue that we need to address. As the tour continued, several discoveries were made and officials took note of the concerns and issues shared by the staff and clients. Over at Mount Carmel Medical Station, Erica Pierre Rennie, district nurse, had accompanied the visiting health officials while walking through her station. She had this to say. Okay, so now it's, it's nice to have them out to come out and visit us and actually we'll share our challenges and so on, you know. And um, I'm looking forward to them working with us, you know, and providing the necessary things that we need to continue our work here at the clinic. Right, um, because I think that from time to time, you know, there are challenges, there are, you know, um, shortfalls and so on, and having it mm -hmm. will be 
better for not just for you to execute your duties but also for the people who are accessing care Definitely. to ensure that you know they can get the services that they require. Yes, I definitely agree with you. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. The delegation later stopped at the Birch Grove Medical Station where they met with some members of the staff and held general discussions primarily on staffing matters, clients' comfort and minor physical improvements. Carla Noel, district nurse at the Birch Grove Medical Station, is well known in her community and when the visit to her medical station came to an end, she told the GIS. Well, I'm very happy to have the minister and his team here with us. It's very important, you know, um, we have some grave concerns and so, and um, we were looking forward to this visit. And so we welcome the visit and um, we trust that the issues that we brought forth, that they would be attended to to um, maximize our care and so for the community. We appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. Alice. You're welcome. Granborough Health Center is the main health center for the St. Andrew Health District. There, Minister Lacret and his delegation saw firsthand the challenges that confront the staff and clients on a daily basis. While at the facility, the minister took the time to speak with some of the clients that were awaiting services. The issue of better access and a more spacious area were raised by those in attendance. On completion of the visit to the Granbra Health Center, Naomi Thomas, the community health nurse who heads the St. Andrew Health District, shared her thoughts. Yes, I was able to show the minister some of our issues. Um, to do with the structure of the building, staffing, and um, we were promised, hopefully in the new year, that um, our building will be refurbished and uh, our staffing will be improved, and which we are grateful for. Now, Thomas also added, hoping that um, we can be able to provide the services that is needed for our community in our new facility in a more comfortable environment. In St. Andrew, the team made short stops at Paradise and Tivoli Medical Stations before the tour which was on its final leg stopped at the Hermitage and River Sally Medical Stations and the Satyrs Health Center in the north of the island before heading down the west coast to the other health facilities. Structural defects were noticeable at most facilities and while inspecting the different areas at the Hermitage Medical Station, the health minister put his skills to the test by repairing a faulty doorknob. Renisha Regis, a nursing assistant at the Hermitage Medical Station, shared her thoughts on the visit. I'm happy that you all came to see that the condition of the medical station and the what the people have been speaking about and I really hope that by soon timing that something can be done and y'all will make another pass to you know make sure adjustments are done. Yes, I'm very pleased that we all get the opportunity at the medical station here today to state our problems here and I hope that he did have, um, feel the same way in being here with us and that he will look towards helping us with our issues. Now, all in all, the visit had progressed well and Chief Community Health Nurse Carol Tellisford Charles was rather happy that the visit had occurred. Well, I'm very happy for the visits that we have commenced. Um, we commenced last week and um, we continue. As you are aware, a number of facilities have been refurbished and um, some new ones. For example, we had Guav some years ago. Then we had Victoria, which we recommissioned this year. We also had um, Good Hope, right? And um, we continue. So we're in the parish of St. David's and um, Wester Hall was one of the recent refurbished ones. But when we look at Pegmoton and Vincent, Vincent's medical stations, these are two facilities that really need some um, facelift and some refurbishment. And we know that um, there is commitment and um, for the 2024 budget, we're hopeful and we know that they are going to be addressed. Another key member of the towing delegation was Isaac Bagwan, the lead PS at the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Religious Affairs with responsibility for health and general administration. I welcome the opportunity to do the tour with minister and other PSAs and of course other senior um, <coughs> administrators within the health system. For me, it gives me um, a first-hand approach, a uh, first-hand view as to the status of the facility because uh, 
the, the, the status of the facilities is important as it relates to the issue of healthcare delivery. And if you have places that are, that are leaking, that um, you have molds, you have ACs that are not working, toilet facilities with plumbing issues, you know, um, issues with um, furnishing and all this kind of thing relating to the building, then it makes um, the provision of services very uncomfortable and challenging for first of all the, the providers of, of the services which is our basically our nurses and DMOs and of course um, the patients who have to come here to wait on the services and so so um, as I said give me a first hand view so my it would give me an opportunity to be able to look to the different funding agency that we have and to be able to in a sense to prioritize um, what are the projects, which agencies, and what is urgently needed. Of course, um, there are those that need some minor repairs and you know, maintenance, and others that need um, a complete structural um, um, review. So um, that would, as I said, would give me a sense as to what is happening so that we could better plan for the implementation of the facilities within the healthcare system. Now, the issue of routine maintenance of healthcare facilities is often a major concern. And when asked about a comprehensive plan to properly maintain those government primary healthcare facilities, Mr. Bagwan explained. Well, it is very important because, um, again, some of the funding agencies, as part of the conditions in giving you resources for the building, one of the key things that they would ask you about is the sustainability and maintenance. Of course, over the years, um, different ministries had their own budgets for um, maintenance. Now all of that budget is under the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and of course they would have the challenges. So again, um, we would have to try and seek how we could um, influence uh, probably Cabinet, influence um, the Ministry of Infrastructure Development to provide more support uh, for the health facilities because again this is where healthcare takes place and you cannot have unhealthy building providing healthcare. So um, yes, um, maintenance is key and um, I think you know, we should budget in within the health budget in terms of um, the minor things that could be done that doesn't necessarily need the whole in, uh, technical team from Ministry of Work. So, sim so a simple thing like um, a door handle or, or um, a plumbing, plumbing issue that could be easily handled with a couple of dollars, that I think we could handle. But things of major um, structural issues, then we refer it to the um, Ministry of Infrastructure Development. Meanwhile, when the tour wrapped, Minister Lacrette took the opportunity to summarize the 3D exercise. Well, I am glad that we sat down as a policy team and we decided that we wanted to ensure that before the year is ended that we do an infrastructural as well as a medical clinical assessment of all of our medical stations so that moving forward we know what are the issues that need to be addressed with all of our medical stations and health centers. And um, one of the things that really stood out uh, uh, to me over the past three days uh, of us journeying together to those medical stations slash health centers is that um, it is important for the management of the sector to always stay connected to the ground um, where our clinicians are concerned. And as a result of that, um, I think that they feel valued that the policymakers and management can come to the community centers, the community um, centers where the medical stations and health centers are, to chat with them, dialogue with them, hear their concerns legitimately, and go back to the drawing board and try to see how best, as a management team and as a policy team, we can alleviate some of the challenges and the stresses that they face at the community level. So I'm particularly pleased that um, I gave the directive for us to come out into the community. He added, well, the interaction with the residents of the various communities in the health centers and medical stations that we met, it was a very fruitful one, I must say, indeed. Um, the opportunity to allow them to see the, well, to interact with the face of the minister, shake the minister's hand, and um, ask personal questions as well as questions pertaining to the community where the medical station or health center is located. Um, I think it augurs well for relationship. Um, it also augurs well for the sector and the management of the sector as it relates to us as, again, staying connected to the individuals who um, use the delivery services of these medical stations and health centre on a daily basis. So I was extremely pleased to connect with a number of them at Grand Bra, as you stated, where we got the opportunity to interact with the patients there and it was a really, really eye-opening 
I must say, um, interaction. So they also gave some suggestions as to how they believe we can move forward, especially at Grand Bra with the expansion of the dressing room. I believe that it's too small given the catchment of individuals who traverse that health center on a daily and weekly basis. So, and we do, we, we do know that Grand Bra is done for reconstruction anyway. So um, we know that they will definitely have the space in the next six to eight months. According to Minister Lecret. So I'm particularly pleased and the willingness of the management team and the policy team as well to come out on such, a, um, on such an activity and such a, a journey so that they themselves can have a greater appreciation for what our nurses do at the community level. So I think all in all, it's a win-win for us as a policy team. We know how to move forward come 2024.